Very first thing that you want to do is download slash update Imudeck. If you don't know how to do this or even know how to get Imudeck, there will be a video down below showing you how to get Imudeck installed and how it works and all that other stuff, assuming that you already should know emulation. After this, you want to go on your Yuzu emulator, change the Pro Controller to dual Joy-Cons, and make sure that you have your Joy-Cons already Bluetoothed. After that, you'll just click on motion and shake the Joy-Con, and if there is uh, problems that you have, be sure to watch the full length of the video, but this is a quick version in case if someone just needs it fast and quick. So let's get on to the longer version. Hello my friends, friend of me is I'm Excel, and I'm showing you the longer version. Now how to pair your Joy-Cons is by pressing this tiny little button it that's inside the joy cons without the side grips and then you'll see them pop up in bluetooth after that you're going to want to go into power and then you're going to want to switch into desktop you have to do this on an external monitor or else it will not pop up if you've never done desktop before i recommend right click or if you're using controls with or whatever know how to use that i personally do but mouse and keyboard makes this easier make sure that you primary your tv or whichever monitor you're using as long as it's a bigger resolution than the steam deck now as you see here i don't have inu deck updated so when i'm trying to move the joy con it's not working and it'll say stl if you update steam deck and you have that then that's a weird problem that i unfortunately do not how to fix so Whenever you have this issue, I would suggest just uninstalling Deck or refactoring your Steam Deck if that's an option for you and reinstalling Deck and doing it this way. I personally was doing this on a different Steam Deck than what I normally use and as you can see the screen appeared on the bottom even though I had the primary. I don't know, you could just disable that display if you really need to. But anyway, you basically just want to go ahead and update your MU deck. And once you do that and you set everything the way you want it, you can then go on to the next step of Yuzu. So once it's done updating, you're going to want to go to your bottom search, kind of like in Windows, and type in Yuzu MU deck. Make sure that it's Yuzu MU deck and not just Yuzu. After that, you go configure and then controls as you saw and then you want to stretch it down enough and this is why you need a higher resolution screen to do this and you'll see after testing it on a controller that it'll say Joy-Con on it. This is how you know that it's working and that it means that your Joy-Con is reading motion controls. So afterwards, depending on which Joy-Con you're using, you go to dual Joy-Cons and then you start moving it after you pick which Joy-Con. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial. I'm not used to making too many tutorials, but hopefully this helped. I do think this is very simple. So if there is any small things that you need help on that are basics, then I should be able to help it. But if it's anything too advanced for me, then I can't do it. But anyway, see you on the flip side.